This boy kicked the ball into the car where the test was taking place. The girl is scared and makes a sharp turn and they want to see a good show. But the girl makes a perfect drift and stops the car. The girl passed her driving test with a perfect score. The boy who kicked the ball came running in anger. The girl is asked to pay for the football. Susan just smiles indifferently in return. And then she crashes into the boy's luxury car. The boy doesn't even realize Susan is a talented driver. Susan's mother didn't believe it either. The first day she gets her license and she's in trouble. She decided to let Susan work for the summer to pay for the repairs. That night, she sneaks into the driving school's warehouse. She found the old junk car used for driving lessons. After checking the oil and taping up the mirrors, leaving a message for her mother to leave the area, Susan drove to a friend's house 300 kilometers away, but just outside the city. The car stopped on the side of the road with black smoke. Just then a police car passed by. The officer checked Susan's license. He immediately ran back to his car and called. Looking at the tow truck coming, Susan was desperate. When she was taken to the garage, she was surprised to find the police and her uncle were good friends. This is Susan's first visit to her uncle's garage. She overheard that her parents and her uncle had both been drivers. The next day Susan volunteered to fix the car. Mike was very impressed with his niece's talent for cars. That's when it occurred to Susan. She decided to work at her uncle's garage for the summer. Mike didn't want to hear about it. But after Susan begged and pleaded, Uncle agreed and started to convince her sister. Susan's mother didn't want to do it, but she hadn't seen her daughter so happy for a long time. That day Susan begged her uncle to take her to the racetrack where her father used to work. It was here that she saw her first real race car, but she was confused. These cars are just circling the track. Why do so many people like them? After her uncle's explanation Susan understood. Many racers spend their lives fighting for a few precious seconds. When she got back, Susan couldn't look at her dad's picture. She wanted to know what kind of a driver her dad was. In the morning Susan got up to clean the garage. A tarpaulin hiding in the corner caught her eye. When she lifted it up, she was shocked. The car was the one her uncle used to race. She suddenly realized the significance of the trophy on the table. One day Mike took Susan to a place. They went to an isolated racetrack. Mike then took Susan to experience real speed. Susan didn't know her uncle hadn't been on a track in 18 years. But his skills had not diminished. Drift after drift corner after corner with precision. Just then a red car came in. He immediately recognized the old car as Mike's. So he followed Mike when he wasn't looking. But what he doesn't realize is, it was a girl driving in front of him. Jack can't put any distance between himself and the old car. Susan under the guidance of her uncle. She was getting better at driving. She accelerated and drifted around the corner. Jack's car was left behind. Jack was furious at being left behind. He wanted to teach them a lesson. But Jack's idea was instantly recognized by Mike. Under the direction of his uncle, Susan cut into the corner and managed to lose Jack. That's when Jack noticed. Mike came out of the passenger side and found him. Jack couldn't resist asking who was driving, but to his dismay he found the champion racer had lost out to a girl. This race gave Susan a lot of confidence. She insisted that her uncle take her to a race, but her uncle sternly stopped her from doing so. He couldn't resist telling the story of how Susan's father had left. It turns out that Susan's dad lost control of the car to during the race. Mike didn't have time to rescue him. It made him feel guilty and he gave up his racing career. But he couldn't resist Susan's pouting. He took out the car he'd had for so long. But Susan had to practice in the mud in the countryside. Older cars don't feel comfortable to drive. But Susan was hooked on the thrill of accelerating around corners. In less than a day, she has adapted well to the characteristics of the car. Mike was amazed. He'd never seen such amazing talent before. Back at the garage Susan was hooked. She asked again. For her uncle to give her the car for the race but this time no matter how hard she pushed mike refused to comply just then jack comes to service the car mike's broken car was ridiculed by him mike had no choice but to make up his mind he told susan to ask her mother for permission first but susan didn't have a phone call with her mother and that's how susan managed to fool her uncle the first race made susan very nervous old school racing it was just a matter of taking every left turn 40 laps around the track to decide the winner susan's number 18 car was left behind as soon as she started 
started. The cars around her gave her a very strong sense of pressure. It's not like she's been training alone on the track. After a few laps of drifting, Susan's mind was settling down. But the old car didn't give her any chance. The car lost power in the corner and broke down on the spot. And that was the end of the first race. The conditions were so restrictive. They had to tune the old car for each failed race. Susan was very consistent in this race. By the last 20 laps, she started to overtake. Under the guidance of her uncle, she settled down, finally setting a new record for local dirt track racing. She is the only woman to have finished on the podium so far. It was only second place. Susan and her uncle were so excited that they didn't know what to say. But that's when Susan suddenly found out. Her mother had angrily approached her. Susan's talent and ability gave her uncle hope. But the arrival of her mother, Susan panics. She angrily denounced her brother for taking Susan to a race without her knowledge. In the midst of the argument, Mike suddenly collapsed, having given up racing. He had been drinking heavily causing liver problems. But Susan's talent for racing rekindled his hope. He showed his sister all of Susan's best races. He tried to convince his sister to get Susan back on the track. Susan's mother came back to the garage. She tells her daughter she's agreed to let her continue racing and pulls open the garage roll-up door. And there was her sister and a brand new race car. The family had signed her up for nationals. Susan's mother was her personal mentor. Susan was guided by her mother. She soon adapted to the new car. In her hands, the car becomes an arrow on the track. Her daughter's drifting around the corners gave her a glimpse of her husband. After 18 years of racing with her daughter, mom recovers the feeling of having conquered the track. Race after race, Susan wins the trophy every time. Nationals coming up, the teens competing in the nationals. All professional teams, and Susan is a trio of just her mom and Peter. The nationals had 60 more laps than the regional competitions. More than a dozen countries make their slow entrance amidst the fireworks. It was a close race right from the start. Jack used his qualifying advantage to take the lead. Susan repeatedly tried to overtake on the inside lap, only to be blocked time and time again. As soon as she found her chance, two competitors collided in front of her. She had to make a slow lap around the field according to the rules. Susan felt the national race was beyond her capabilities. Her mother told her to ignore the lavish course and the fireworks, to focus on the familiar dirt track in front of her. With her mother's encouragement, Susan rose to the occasion. She used the corners to drift and overtake with ease. From 14th to top 5 in a flash, the final 29 laps added to the pressure on the competitors. Susan had just passed 5th place when she was knocked back. Luckily she was able to adjust her angle in time to avoid hitting the wall. The crowd was screaming for her as she regained 4th place. Susan started to explode in the last 10 laps, putting the pressure on the top 3 riders. After another crash, they had to do another slow lap around the field. Just then Mike arrived on the track. The presence of his uncle got Susan's blood pumping. Under Mike's direction, she was close to third place and forced her way past. In a flash it was the last lap. Susan was right on top of Jack in first place. The finisher's flag is waved. The final turn. Susan drifts in close to the inside. Susan has left Jack behind. This is the second time Susan has beaten Jack. She became the only female racer to finish on the podium. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this on Recap Next.